Hello citizens, it's Cece and welcome to Cece's World. I could not have asked for a more beautiful day. Look at this sunshine, it's spring, the leaves are starting to bud, blooms are out, tulips are just everywhere and I am totally loving it. I'm having lunch outside, I'm going outside my diet today because I wanted a hot dog. I, for some reason, love vendor chili dogs, and so that is what I got today from the vendor over yonder in front of the art museum. And oh goodness, what a big fuzzy squirrel coming this way! <laughs> yeah, so I am glad to be able to do that. As you can see, maybe you can't see, it looks like looming over yonder behind me in the sky is some purple clouds, so we may get some rain this afternoon. I hope not. I hope that I can enjoy the day all the way through the evening. <laughs> In any event, I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. It's um, the beginning of May, the month of my birthday, and I will be 48 years old this year. Yay! Getting older, <laughs> but getting better, right? <laughs> In any event, um, it's good to chit chat with you guys for a minute and hopefully I will get some shots of some of the beautiful blooms around here to let you see how gorgeous it is. We've got the, art, um, the botanical gardens right over here where you see the school buses and there are just gardens everywhere around it um, just in bloom and I absolutely enjoy seeing them. Well, lunch was so very delicious. The sun just peeked back out. It's getting more and more cloudy, so even though I have some time before I need to get back to lunch, I mean, I'm sorry, get back to work, I am gonna head back there anyways because I don't want to get caught in any rain sprouts. I don't have an umbrella. I don't even have a jacket because it's 63 degrees out here and just absolutely beautiful. So I thought I would be okay. <laughs> and I will be. <sighs> All right, my next shots are gonna be of some flowers I'm gonna see if I can capture for you. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> gluten-free lifestyle that I'm trying to adapt and I'm doing it a little by little and my mother has been so sweet um, trying to help me 
uh, with finding wonderful gluten-free products. And I am making right now gluten-free pancakes. Um, this is the batter here. And I have been frying them up. I just did one batch here. They look wonderful. And let me show you the packaging here. This is the packaging. Um, it is live free. Now, Mom got some of these things from Aldi's, and I believe these products came from Aldi's. Um, Giant Eagle, which is another supermarket if you're in, um, in the Northeast Ohio area, that also um, sells gluten-free products. But you should probably have them in any grocery store. But um, I was very excited about this. I had asked her to get me some flour, and she was able to get me this here flour. And it is multi-purpose flour. And it is primarily made of ground rice. But it's, of course, gluten-free and all that other good stuff. Now, another thing that she got from the same brand of Live G Free is this granola cereal. Now, I found this to be very sweet. Um, it has berries in it, so it has a very berry flavor. But it's kind of nice because it's not only gluten-free, it's cholesterol-free, dairy-free, egg-free, um, nut-free, soy-free, wheat-free. So um, it crosses a lot of boxes for people who have certain food allergies. So I just thought I'd share some of these things with you that I've gotten. I made a dish today. Um, I packed it away for my lunch for tomorrow, but I will take it out here and sh share it with you. It is a cabbage dish. I took cabbage um, and I took cabbage, bell peppers, red onions, and uh, I put some... What this dish is is cabbage, green peppers, red onions. I put some spinach in there, arugula, and there's some carrots in there that came. What I did was I used a slaw package that I had. And um, I sauteed it up with some olive oil, put a, a pinch of sage, a pinch of rosemary, and a pinch of um, tarragon. I um, crunched them up in my fingers and then spread them out. And I put the seasonings in with the onion and bell peppers. Then I added the slaw mixture along um, the, with the arugula and spinach later and I let it cook down and then when it was done um, mixed all up and cooked down as far as it could go when it was cooked down as far as it could go I then added a half a cup of water and let it cook down further from there so yeah and that's what I'll have tomorrow for lunch and I haven't quite decided on my dinner I saw a recipe for some black bean quesadillas. I'm very tempted to give that a shot. I also saw um, some stuffed peppers, but I don't have mushrooms, so I probably won't do that until another week. But this is using what I have here today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this um, little tour of some of the things that you can get gluten-free that are out in the market. And they are not expensive, which is very nice. Um, Aldi's had the best prices. So if you have an Aldi's in your area, go ahead and, and check those out. But also try out any of the discount supermarkets that you have in your area. I am surprised at how um, more common gluten-free products are becoming. So give it a try. That's it for the moment. Uh, I will check with you guys later.